probably know where we are because we have some nice welcome logo in the background and uh, it's been last December last year that we test drove Hyundai Ionic and it was such a joy that we are back for more uh, Scott it's nice meeting you again yes thank you for having yeah. us and Lawrence hello, hello hello great to do a test drives together so we can bounce off <laughs> ideas mm. yes. and I can see that the car has arrived back because it's in a, such a demand that uh, test drives are uh, very popular and uh, we'll be hopping in the car soon but before we do that uh, let's uh, ask some questions uh, about this car Scott yeah. I know that there has been so much interest that uh, it's hard to keep up we've had a lot of interest yes yes it's um, been very 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 busy with the test drives we've got back-to-back -back test drives pretty much every day since it's been released so um, and uh, we've now got a waiting list of customers waiting around six months now to, to purchase one so the, the interest is certainly there um, we're actually 800% over our, our projected sales target, so Hyundai's uh, giving us a good pat on the back with that one, but yeah, <laughs> it's really taken off. Um, I think for most people it's the, the longer drive, uh, the longer range, uh, which has been a big big selling factor for most people. Um, there was still that range anxiety with the Ionic having the 230k range, whereas this has got 449, uh, so obviously a lot, lot bigger, and obviously the batteries that go with it as well. So. Um, the other side is the performance, which are a lot of people uh, coming in for now. We've heard a lot about the EV smile, and I've, I, I get it now. It's 99.9% uh, of people that, that test drive one of these things live with a big smile on their face. So it's a yeah, it's a game changer. It really is. Mm -hmm. Lawrence, yes. do you have any any questions, for Scott? Since uh, the servicing uh, schedule. Uh, uh, servicing schedule is well, it's cap priced. Um, so every 12 months or 15,000 kilometres, mm -hmm. um, whichever occurs first, of course. Uh, now they've got a lifetime service plan on these, and it's 170 dollars of service for the rest of its life, essentially. So uh, there's very few moving parts. The only expendables you've got, other than that, is your wear and tear items, your, your tyres and, and brakes, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but there's very few moving parts on these, so mm -hmm. they're very cheap to maintain. No, I expect the brake pad to last a lot longer with the regen. Regenerative braking, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It technically should never run out because if you're using the regenerative braking correctly, it's, it's not actually using the brake pads. So. Once people get used to that one pedal driving, they'll, they'll be using just that and the brake really just for the last few meters to stop. Mm -hmm. Well, you can actually use the regenerative braking paddle to bring it to a complete stop now on the new model. So. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. yeah, new feature on this one. Yeah. Amazing. Nice. Right. That's right. So there is probably more people that have come into yeah. test drive Kona EV. We'll see about <laughs> it. So before we jump into the car, uh, yeah. this is all for now, and we'll see you inside this beautiful EV. It's actually got a battery monitor in. Uh -huh. There's Type Two on the top. Yep. And uh, it takes CCS, a lot of fast charger. Mm -hmm. CCS fast charger. So that will take up to the 50 kilowatt. 100. 100. 100, 100 kilowatt, kilowatt station. Yeah. And nice. then the um, mm -hmm. the Type Two is 7.2. Yes. Kilowatt. Okay. Yeah. What sort of range would that put in? Uh, type two? Uh, well, it gets up to 449 k's. Yeah. So yes, yes. that's all. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's all dependent on your, um, your your right foot at the end of the day, but. <laughs> yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Can I ask what colours they come in? Uh, we've got a wide variety. There's um, there's six different colours at the moment, and there's a choice of different roofs as well, uh, and interior combinations. So there's quite a quite a wide range out there. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, though, different colour choices can result in a longer wait time as well. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, okay. so, so what's the quickest colour? White. <laughs> white. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excellent. Wow. Oh, got overhead heads-up display. Heads-up display. Uh -huh. This is the Highlander, so this is top of the range. Yes. Oh, uh -huh. Zero. Zero yeah, consumption. Zero consumption, yes, I know. I don't yeah. know why they put them on there. It's, it's, I suppose it's Australian design rules, but it's, it's, it's quite funny Fantastic. to see it say zero. And what, what's the difference between these? There's a whole heap, actually. Yeah. Uh, so okay. I, I can run through it with the book. Um, yeah. But it's a little bit hard to list off the top yeah, of my head. Yeah, but, all right. Um, your things are like your, your air conditioned and heated seats, the heated steering wheel. Uh -huh. um, you've got the sunroof, uh, mm -hmm. the automatic dipping chromatic mirror, mm -hmm. uh, the wireless charge pad for your phone. But mm -hmm. I mean, this is just scratching the surface. There's a lot more that goes with it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. great. Sunroof inside as well. Yeah. Sunroof. Yeah, it's good all the all lights. Uh -huh. so that's weird having well. having white light as well instead of yellow light like the most yeah, cars. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that the other night. I'm like, oh wow, it's actually white light. <laughs> LED, yeah, mm. nice. Head up, head up it's up display. display. Yeah, that, well, that's another thing that comes only exclusive on the Highlander. Okay. 
Yes. So it's a fairly similar layout to the, the Ionic where you've got the nice big screen there and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this little digital of course. Mm -hmm. uh, all your different drive modes, so eco, you've got comfort, mm -hmm. uh, sport. Mm -hmm. And if you hold this down, um, there is a eco plus as well. Oh, okay. Wow. Which, uh, as you know, it's just dropped the air conditioning right off. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and it's limited the speed to 90 kilometers an hour also. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. So this is a very baby mode. It, uh, it yes. sort of turns everything down to produce the maximum kilometers, of course. Yes. Yes. Mm. Yeah, a lot of room down there. Mm. Yeah, good for storage, and yeah. ladies love yeah. putting the, yeah. the space for the handbag there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A perforated seat. Yes, mm. they're um, in the Highlander, they're heated and uh, ventilated. Ventilated. So the air comes through. It's cooled, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's quite good value though for another 5,000. Mm. Mm. So we'll just start off on eco mode and then we'll go through the different modes as we get going. Mm -hmm. So the pedestrian way is that when you are backing out from the car park? Yes, yeah, so it'll do that. That's, that's a rear cross traffic alert. Uh, but pedestrian detection is if it's basically a kid runs out in the road in front of you. Oh, okay. And it'll apply the brake? Yes. Uh, so we've got um, regeneration level two on here, so you can feel the car slowing down. I'm actually not braking, the, mm -hmm. the car slowing down. Mm -hmm. uh, and as we come up to the lights here, okay, you just hold the left-hand one in, and it brings it to a complete stop. Oh, yes. oh okay. Well, so you don't have to apply the brakes? No, you're not using any brakes. I've put my foot on the brake now to hold the car, but you're yeah. not actually yeah. using any brakes to slow it down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. That's good regen. Hmm. So as you, um, as you go through the different modes, there's different levels of regeneration. Mm -hmm. um, you can obviously adjust that with the, the paddle mm -hmm. shift the same as, as before. Mm -hmm. uh, increase it or decrease it. Or mm -hmm. you can turn it off completely. Mm -hmm. And again, the, the roll resistance on these things is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, this has got a 0.29 mm -hmm. uh, versus the 0.28 of the, uh, the Ionic. Mm -hmm. So extremely efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see the maintenance cost on these going to be very, very low over mm -hmm. the long term. Mm -hmm. What can you see at the head up, head up display? Well, actually, the last person must have been a little bit taller than me, but uh, <laughs> it's, it shows up the, uh, the speed limit, the speed that you're travelling, uh, mm -hmm. and your safety features as well. So um, mm -hmm. uh, the lane keep assist, it shows up the lines, and it'll show when they're, they're lit up, which means it's, it's active. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows school zones. Mm -hmm. um, so when she goes through a school zone, it shows up and says, hey, it's a school zone, watch your speed here. Oh, OK. So it, it knows what the speed limit is. Mm -hmm. And if it's uh, red light cameras and all that? It does the red light cameras, but that, that shows up in the map rather than on the, uh -huh. the heads up uh -huh. display. Uh -huh. um, but it does pick up, um, like your blind spot monitoring and everything comes mm -hmm. up on here, so you don't have to physically move your uh -huh. head, it's all up in, in front of you. So. Mm -hmm. we just got to work out a way to produce the batteries faster and <laughs> everyone will be happy. <laughs> so that's not the limiting factor at the moment? It is, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Hyundai's got its own steel mills, we can produce the cars, it's just yes. the, uh, the batteries we can't. Uh -huh. Can't get them fast enough, unfortunately. You, you source that from um, LG. LG. Okay. Yeah, so it's a, it's a worldwide issue. It's not yes. Australia. It's yes. it's something that's happening all over, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, just due to the you know, the extreme popularity of these vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, they expected them to take off, but as I said, mm -hmm. we're at 800% over our sales target, so mm -hmm. they didn't expect them to go like this. Mm -hmm. So in the display from in the map, does it have? Uh, I don't know how it works with. Like, does it have charges if you want to go to the next charge? Yeah, the station. So it's just through this EV. Uh -huh. um, you just tap the map there. Uh, hit list. Uh -huh. These are all the oh, local stations. So just hit the first one there. Uh -huh. And you can navigate straight to that station. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, yes. Uh, incidentally, that's a 50 kilowatt station. Mm -hmm. um, so this vehicle will, will charge to 80% in 75 minutes at a 50 kilowatt station. Mm -hmm. Uh, to 80% in 54 minutes at a 100 kilowatt station. And does it have a voice control? Yes, you can hook up Siri. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, but it does have voice activation for the car as well. Yes. Um, but the, the functionality of having Siri here at your fingertips is pretty mm. cool. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like the, uh, yeah, much higher sitting height position. Mm -hmm. So now we have still 290 kilometers? Yes. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And this car was out all weekend with my manager, uh, so it hasn't been charged. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, it's just been off another test drive as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oops.
<laughs> it takes off by itself. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's already on. Is the creep on or at the moment? It, it just, yeah, it creeps off yes. forward by itself. Okay. Yes. When the minute you take your foot off the brake. No, it just feels like a normal car. Yeah. There's definitely. no reason for an electric car to do that. You no. know, they have to put that in. Put that in, yeah, that's right. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, it's a lane departure because you're actually across the uh, lane. Very quiet. Mm. Mm. Now on that, this car does have a, a best a virtual engine sound system as well. Oh. So, so at low speed, it does emit a sound, so talking yeah. to pedestrians. Yes. Oh, for people outside. Yeah, you don't hear it from inside. It's just a little, it's like dinging sort of noise outside. Uh -huh. Scott, I bet you get a lot of people here in the driver's seat that drive EV for the first time. And what's your favourite uh, comment that they say first thing when they sit in? Uh, generally, it's wow. <laughs> 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 they don't expect them to, to go like this. Um, the performance really takes a lot of people by surprise. Yeah. It is, the, is this steering for me? No. Well, it's got the steering assist uh, is active. Oh, uh, the, the so three. if you start to drift out of the lane, it'll, it'll pull it'll you back. It's, back. Not a, it's not autopilot. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. The idea is to reduce fatigue on long drives, yes, so you're yes. holding the steering wheel and the car just sort of does the movement for you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, what else can we see on the middle screen? If you go towards. Uh, on this display yeah, screen? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you've got your mapping which comes up automatically. Okay. Um, you can have a, a split screen display with you can show you your map, your speed limit, and your radio, or something else on this side as well. Um, I, I quite like the EV uh, menu here. So this uh, shows your, your driving history. Um, probably not the best on this this particular car. <laughs> People tend to put their foot down. Um, but yeah, you go through driving history, all that sort of stuff. You can set journeys and really have a look at. Um, and what people have been doing and what they've been pulling out of the car as well, so. Yes, I know. Yeah. Mm. Children crossing ahead. Oh, good. And the school zone coming up Yeah, too. now that, that's actually brand new, that school zone, so it's actually picked up the latest. Oh. There's still a, a new flashing sign up the side there that says it's a brand new school zone here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So you get updates? Yeah, so it's updated, yeah. Uh -huh. So jump on the left here. So how often does it update? We updated it as part of the service, but then it, it does live traffic, so it must have come down as part of that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, so now do is it to uh, D? Straight to D. Yep. Uh -huh, on it the brake releases. Indicators on the right. Yes. Ah, now I see the heads-up display. I mm. see. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be right in front of it, otherwise you don't pick it up. Yeah. Very clear. Uh, Actually, we'll join the auto UE somewhere there further up. <laughs> you got the acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to do these things <laughs> with the electric power. Did you want to have a go at sports mode? Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, please. It's we'll quite uh, at the lights, maybe fun, yeah. if we are there first. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be turning right at the Turning right, yeah. yeah. So what does sports mode do? Uh, well, that's the most most power. Okay, so it's taking off on the lights. It's yes, more powerful. it is. Yeah. Okay. Faster acceleration. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh -huh. You're right, Lawrence. That position is nice and mm -hmm. uh, off the ground. So mm -hmm. I'm sure that that will be popular over Ionic because some people like sitting high up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good visibility. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. Oh, see, that's my habits. How do I turn? Okay, this one. I will get a chance to test the sports mode here better. Okay, ready? Uh -huh. oh, it's a it's hundred here, so we can go higher. <laughs> Very nice. But if I may ask, like, let's say somebody comes in and they want just a standard petrol or diesel Hyundai, uh, 
about your procedure? Do you kind of give them a hint? Hey, would you like to have a quick look at our EV Kona? Or uh, are you happy with their decision as they come in? No, I certainly mentioned the electric side of things as well, but for a lot of people it is, does come down to the budget as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I did mention it to most people that, that they're coming in looking at a Kona, so they, they say, well, how much is a Kona? I say, well, they start from this model here, but they go all the way up to this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's great to know that EV awareness is growing here, mm. and especially now with the with the situation in politics, everybody just playing a table tennis. So it's uh, good. Every publicity is great, isn't it? Everyone's talking about it. Yeah. That's the thing, yeah. <laughs> so when somebody comes and you say to purchase Kona, um, do you tell them how much they wait? Like that, how much is the wait time? Oh, of course, time? yes, yeah. We're looking around six months at this stage. Okay. Um, more people come and more people order, and that's going to be longer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a nice problem to have, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate having to wait for your, for your new car as well. But it's worth the wait. Right? Absolutely. Yes. Some people have been waiting for three years for other cars, so yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> six months is no problem. Mm. Yeah. And did we discuss the price of this one, or do you want to? Yeah, well, on, on the road, this one, uh, this is the Highlander here, so top of the range. Um, so this can, comes in just under 70. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're around 65 for the, for the Elite model. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but when you consider the, the extras that you get with this, you can see why most people just decide to spend the extra Absolutely. four, yeah. four yeah. and a half grand. Mm -hmm. So that's good, the six months is the waiting period for them to get the money. Yeah, well, it is. It's, it's, it allows people an opportunity to save, or if they've got a trade, yeah. to, to sell it privately as well. Yeah. And for a lot of people, they come in, you know, sort of six months early looking for a car anyway. And mm -hmm. When you tell them, well, look, we can do the deal now, it's going to be six months delay anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it gives you time to, to save that bit of extra cash or, and do what you need to do to get yourself in a position to buy a car. So. Yeah. And once people re realize that uh, it will be just to, yeah, to charge at home and, and even if they have to pay for charging on, on road trips, it's still <laughs> a pure joy not having to spend almost two dollars a litre yeah. for petrol. <laughs> well, you know what fuel prices are at the moment, it's crazy. Yeah. And not to make any emissions. Mm. Yes. Yeah, you get two types of customers with this. You get the people that are the, the performance, that just love the performance of it. And, and other people that are just completely green, they say, oh, I won't even put it in sports mode, I'll just be driving it in eco the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> so that salesman, you've got to think on your feet when you're going to pick the customer, you've got to read them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think you can sell to both the customers the same car. <laughs> oh, exactly right. It's the same car, but it's just, yeah. just a different way of selling it. Yeah, yeah just yeah. showing different features. And... Uh -huh. Would it be, would it be uh, like people over 50 buying these cars, or what's the average that you have noticed? We've got a wide range of people, actually. A lot of young people would love to be able to afford it, which they just aren't in a position yes. physically mm -hmm. to do it. But, uh, but yeah, we've, we've got a yeah, well, wide variety of people buying this. And is it mainly city people, or is it like, you know, do they come from Brisbane? Or? Um, the majority, yeah, but um, we've got people that are looking at, at travelling and that sort of stuff, so that's hence they wanted the, the wider range. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, as I said, as long as you plan your journey, I mean, there's no reason you can't use this as a as a road travelling car. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And with this 450k range, it's easy. Mm. <laughs> yeah, the guy who travelled from Amsterdam to Sydney, you know, 95,000 kilometres. Oh yeah. yeah. And he he told us uh, there's for him there's no range excitement. It's all range excitement because. He started you know, 200. Only 200. Yeah. yeah the 200 range. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Narrow road ahead. Oh. Nice. Narrow road. See how it gets skinny? Mm -hmm. So this one has done 1,000 kilometers <laughs> doing mostly test drives. In a week. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, no, it's at the swallowing. Oh, okay. <laughs> just local Yeah, that's just, just test drives. <laughs> the only other way you're going to get one any sooner is if you know, someone's financial situation changes and they can't complete the deal. Mm -hmm. you know, Sort of thing, so. Yeah. Would you see this selling more than the Ionic? Uh, well, at the moment, yes, because it's brand new. Um, but again, I've got I've got a guy that came in the other day that loved the car, wants the car, but it's just out of his budget. So he's coming back to me today to have a look at the Ionic. So. Nice.
So he's still keeping with the electric vehicle. And uh, he'll probably have a look at Okona in a few years once he's at the Ionic. Yeah. This is the next one, so. Excellent. Now I can see why this car is so popular and uh, I'm sure there will be lots of happy customers on the road raving about this car because it is pure joy. Hyundai, well done and thank you very much, Scott. Yeah, again. my pleasure. We'll be back when and, uh, and anything else comes on. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you back for the next day. If you are new to this channel, feel free to subscribe, click on that button and on the bell notification so YouTube will send you a notification of our future videos. And, of course, if you are ready to buy your Model 3, Model S or Model X, feel free to use our referral code that I'm posting below this video and you can see it on the screen here, which is RADO5406. And simply using this referral code will allow you to receive 1500 kilometers worth of free supercharging for your Tesla. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.